Hi guys, welcome to this video looking at how you can use reduction to extract metals from the ground. There are two ways that you can reduce ores then, uh, the first of those being heating with either carbon or carbon monoxide. So you can see here I've got copper oxide and if I heat it and react it with carbon or carbon monoxide I get similar products. I'm going to reduce my copper oxide and turn it into copper and I'm going to oxidize my carbon turning it into carbon dioxide. Similarly with the carbon monoxide reaction the carbon monoxide will be oxidized and turned into carbon dioxide. You can find out which metals that you would extract by heating with carbon in the video that I've linked to in the top right of the screen. Have a look at that if you're not sure. The second method is electrolysis. So if you have a reactive metal such as aluminium or magnesium, which are naturally found in their oxides, aluminium oxide and magnesium oxide, you can use electrolysis to break them down. So you melt them, turn them into a liquid, and then you remove the oxygen by using electrolysis. So you can see here, aluminium oxide has been reduced because it's had oxygen removed, and so has magnesium oxide. Okay, I've got a couple of questions for you. So, number one says, write a word equation for the reduction of iron oxide with carbon to produce the metal iron and a gas. So think back to what we went through earlier in this video, and what is that gas that's going to be formed? Number two, write the balanced equation for the reduction of lead oxide, PBO, with carbon to form lead and carbon dioxide. You should be able to work out the formula for lead and for carbon dioxide, then it's just a case of balancing it. Question three, write word and balanced equations for the extraction of magnesium from magnesium oxide using electrolysis. So think, what are you starting off with? The metal you're going to form is magnesium, what is the other gas? Then finally, number four, explain why both the following reactions involve reduction. So with two marks, so say how both of them are involved in reduction. Pause the video, have a go, we'll see how you've done shortly. Okay, let's see how you've done. So the first question then says, write a word equation for the reduction of iron oxide with carbon to produce a metal iron and a gas. So you first of all start off with the things it tells you in the equation, in the question. So we've got iron oxide and we're reacting it with carbon. It tells you the first thing that you produce is iron, so then you get your first mark for saying iron, and then your second mark is for naming the gas, which if you're taking oxygen away from iron, it's got to go somewhere, so you're going to form carbon dioxide. So one mark for iron, one mark for carbon dioxide. Question two, write a balanced equation for the reduction of lead oxide. It gives you that it's PBO with carbon, which tells you is C, to form lead. You should work out that lead is just PB, and carbon dioxide, you should know, is CO2. The next thing you need to do is balance it. So you'll notice that you've got two oxygens on the right-hand side, only one on the left. So let's put a two in front of there. That gives me two PBs and two Os. On the right, I've only got one lead, therefore I need another. And we are balanced. So you get one mark for the, for the equation and one mark for the balancing. On to question three. So it's writing the word and balanced equation for the extraction of magnesium from magnesium oxide. So the important thing here is to figure out what it is you're starting off with, which in this case is magnesium oxide. So we're taking that, we're splitting it up with electrolysis, so we're going to get our metal, magnesium, and we're going to get oxygen. Metal, magnesium oxide contains oxygen, therefore we're going to have oxygen left over. The second thing is for the balanced equation. So you should know that oxygen is in group 6, needs to gain two electrons so it becomes O2 minus. You should know that magnesium is in group two, wants to lose two electrons and becomes Mg2 plus. Therefore you've got one that's two plus, one that is two minus, the charges cancel each other out so I end up with MgO. Magnesium is nice and simple, just Mg and oxygen you should remember, think of the phone company, O2. All that's left is the balancing. You've got two oxygens on the right, only one on the left, so let's double that and double the magnesium, and that balances my equation for me. So you get one mark for the word equation, one mark for the balanced equation, and one mark for the actual balancing itself. On to question four, explain why both of the following reactions involve reduction. So you can turn around and say that tin oxide and potassium oxide, so you're talking about both of them, have had oxygen removed. So by saying both of them have had oxygen removed, you get two marks. That brings this video to an end. There is a review question for you to have a go at, which is to write a word equation and a balanced equation if you can for the extraction of iron from iron oxide, 
FE203 using reduction with carbon and electrolysis. So you need to do it for both. And then finally explain how both of these involve reduction. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click on like down below. You can also subscribe to get more updates. You can visit the website for more information and you can look at my latest video. Thanks for watching.